Peace. This is the enemy's public. I am Brother Nasir. Our brothers and sisters, some of us, when we obtain some financial status, when we get to a point because of money or the lack of thereof, or in our quest to get money why do we have to throw our brothers and sisters under the bus why do it have to be at the expense of our brothers and our sisters I'm not asking anyone who's in an entertainment business or any other endeavor that they receive money for to stick their neck out for anything but don't stick our necks out it shouldn't be at the expense of us it's better when you ask the question about race or racism it's better than that you say nothing than to put yourself out there behaving coonish or just looking like an outright fool at the expense of your own people now of course I have to name names now common suggests to us that we should offer our open oppressor, our open, consistent, 500 plus year old oppressor in our branch to give them some contentment when they're the oppressor. And we should forget about the past. I guarantee you, coming will not say that to Jewish people when they remember the Holocaust. Yet, we have paid a hell of a cost. And if he did say that to the Jews, he'd be wrong. So he's wrong for saying it to us. We, we must not forget about the past because if we do, is likely to repeat itself. We're always told to suck it up and just deal with our oppressor and just deal with our pain and suffering. Lil Wayne said that he never experienced racism and we know why. Lil Wayne, at age 14, 15 years old, was famous and had money and didn't have to be on the street and he was, you know, well off financially. So he said that he never experienced racism, white supremacy, meaning that he feel his experience is the experience the whole of black people and because he didn't experience racism white supremacy that it doesn't exist a lot of our brothers and I say brothers 
with quotes, our sisters, and I say sisters with quotes, think that they have risen above the condition of their own people because of their financial status, because they can live somewhere else or they are recognizable. Yet, they are going to get a rude awakening because a lot of these hateful ass racist hate some of our brothers and sisters with their financial status even though some of our brothers and sisters work hard for what they have the fact that these brothers and sisters have what they have they're hated because of it so they're going to get a rude awakening and they're going to see very soon Remember your brother Nasir said it. They're going to see very soon that they have not risen above the condition of their people. Because you can't. Whatever your people's situation is, it's your situation. Either they'll wake up or they will be in a deeper, permanent sleep. This is the enemy's public. I am Brother Nasir. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Peace.